I missed when we had a decent manager. I missed when players would score for fun and go celebrate like crazy. I miss amazing home and away atmospheres that would never be changed. Until this one guy, you know, who started off this season with so much hope behind him, so much promise, so much backing from management, from fans, from everyone. And guess what? Yeah, guys, he's still here. What is going on? But anyway, welcome back boys and girls. It is currently the 5th of September. It is Thursday night. I am recording this for the Fleetwood game coming up. Just because next week me and the missus and our dog, we're going on holiday just for a few days just to get away from work. Just have some peace and quiet really, you know. And yeah, so I just thought we'll do the preview now at the time and it should be uploaded sometime whilst we're away. So at the time of recording, Kevin Bond is still here. Ron Martin... Apparently has returned today on the 5th, but no news has been released. Training went ahead today, but what do you call it? Bomb wasn't there, apparently. Most of the players weren't there. I think they've given up at this point. But still, again, professionally paid more than average working people, and they don't show up to training. Like, I get the turning down the manager. They don't like what he's doing or his style or the run they're on. They're blaming him. I get that. But still, they're paid so much money just to go to a few training sessions and to play for the club. Like, at least the least they could do is turn up, even if he's there or not. But anyway, guys, whether Kevin Bond is here when this video gets released or he's not, I'm going to say the team that I think should go ahead with this and why, as per usual. But hopefully by then we can get rid of Bond. And in my previous preview, there was some list of managers who we could bring in. I'll leave them up here again, guys. Who do you think should take over realistically for Southend, considering we've just bought Kevin Bond, we're going to have to pay him off to leave. You know, who is wise, money-wise, and for, like, strategy. But yes, guys, with the new person here, uh, what are we thinking for the Fleetwood game? I'm going to start off Oxlingo. He had actually a really bloody good game against Orient, you know. I'd say he was probably on my other match. He tried, he made some good saves, and especially against the Rochdale, Rochdale match, he made some awfully good saves as well in the last 10 minutes. Yeah, it wasn't his best day, but, you know, he's still got the experience. Both keepers are in bad form at the minute, so it's just a win win for either keeper. Defence-wise, what we're saying, we're going to go with Elvis, Ridgewell, Lennon and Ralph. Reasons for that is John White has done an ankle ligament injury. He's going to be out for quite a while. Uh, what else? Shognessy, he's had a really bad few games. The Orient match, their first goal, all he had to do was head the ball away at the back post. I don't know what happened, he just completely left it, went over his head and they headed it in, simple. Just a basic error, you know, it might just be the form or it might just be anything. But personally, Ridgewell, he had one match, yeah, it was his first. He didn't do the greatest, but we all make mistakes, so it was his first match. Hopefully he can just get over it and hopefully perform for this next one. And the other defenders just make sense, you know, they just fit in the squad really well. They've done well up till now. Midfield-wise, it's going to be tricky because Milligan will be coming back from international duty with Australia. So I don't know whether he'd be in or not, or if he'd be a sub. So whether if he does start, I'd go Milligan. Hamilton's a little star, you know. He offers that attacking factor when going forward. He just wants to run at the defences. He wants to charge. I think he could be a really good outlet for us. And he played Rochdale last year, and they rated him quite highly. So we're going to go, if Milligan is fit, him, obviously, Hamilton... 
<laughs> the other spot, like we always say, we don't know who. Leave it down below, guys, South Ham fans. What would your midfield be? You know, because that's why I feel we're struggling. We're not creating much. We're not going forward well with it. So what do you think should be in the midfield? Don't get me started on the attack boys. Don't get me started. We might we might have not had any like playmakers for them to go to or much support for the strikers. But still, we scored like how many goals? I'm gonna guess like two goals, maybe not even that in our first seven or eight matches. You know, that's really bloody poor. That's so poor. But strikers this week, you know, you need someone who's confident, someone who's just gonna hit it if necessary. So for the Fleetwood match, I'd go Humphreys and Goodship up top, you know. Just because Humphreys is that big unit, even if it's just a random cross, he might get his head on it, it might go in, or at least it'll be a chance, you know, it'll spur the team on. Goodship against Rochdale, I thought, after he went a few goals down in the second half, he sparked it up a bit. Yes, he was on the wing, shouldn't have been on the wing from the start, should never play him on the wing, always better in attack. But no, he cut in a few times, he got a few decent shots off, as did Humphreys. So I'd start them, put Cox on the bench to come on, about 65, 70 minutes, depending on the score. And like I said, guys, leave me some comments down below about the midfield. Like, how should we play this out? Because I know everyone's got a different, like, way of playing this. Also, guys, don't forget to comment down below and enter the competition. All you have to do is comment, subscribe, and on the comment, put your favourite South Ham player, even though we're not doing the best at the minute. Put your favourite one. It could be past, it could be present, it could be whatever. But the announcement, or the giveaway, was meant to be this Saturday against Pompey because that's been postponed due to international duties we're going to do it for the Fleetwood match so it will be on the 14th now guys so this video will be your last chance to enter because after I get home from the Fleetwood match I will make the announcement there so make sure you share this guys get all the love and support and I've got a special announcement that's right guys if this video here can get 30 likes 30 likes I will do two giveaways on the same time whether that be two shirts from the club, two match day tickets. If this video gets 30 likes before the Fleetwood match, then there will be two giveaways. So you will have two chances of winning. So, guys, you share this video, you like, comment, and subscribe. But, yes, guys, that's going to wrap it up all now. So, from me and little Dolko here, we say peace. Press the button. Press the, press, press the, press the button. You don't. She don't want to press the button. Bye.